Wayne Angman is getting a chance to practice in time for an annual contest this weekend in Rutland. He's playing a Liberty two-step medley with some fellow fiddlers from the Kelowna branch of the BC Old Time Fiddlers. We have to play a different waltz, jig and a reel later in the day as part of the judging process. So we have to prepare two of each or six songs uh, to, to go into the, cat, into the contest. You've been practicing a lot of that? Or? Oh, uh, I, I think if you ask my wife that, she's getting pretty tired of those six songs. <laughs> Five fiddlers are expected to perform in front of judges on Saturday. Those judges will be looking for contestants to play a danceable tune right on pitch and play it with confidence. Of course, the inherent challenging nature of the piece is also a factor. The judges particularly watch for this, for the difficulty of a piece in the uh, open category, the championship category, the, the uh, heavy categories. If you were to play an elementary tune, they would frown on it. Most of these folks in fiddling have been with it all of their life. I've had music in my life for a long time. An uncle gave me a fiddle back in the 50s and I just put it away and it became a retirement project for me. So I started fiddling at age 60. Fiddling isn't just a pastime for the old timers. It seems the music is becoming a hit with the youngsters now too. Some who've been picking up the violin with incredible poise. There's something about a fiddle that's intriguing, I think, and very challenging. Uh, the bow is very difficult to, uh, to master and uh, I don't know, maybe the sound, I can't imagine you don't do much rock and roll, uh, yet the violin is considered the king of the instruments. It is a peppy kind of, uh, uh, toe tapping kind of a music and we play in schools too. And the young kids, they really get into it, the dancing part of it. It may be a different type of dancing, but it, it, it all goes to the, the, the kind of the back beat of, of the, the music that we're playing. They've had a lot of professional training along the way that perhaps some of the older folks didn't. You know, most people uh, just picked a little uh, music up here and there as you go, but the kind of training that they get today for, whether it's music or sports or, or academics, it's, it's top notch. Yeah. 